Well, this is the um, this is the uh, last day of um, February, um, and so it's time for our February update. Um, progress on the Renegade hasn't been all that marvellous. Um, matter of fact, I don't think you will have. I don't think you'll see very much uh, progress at all. Um, there has been some, but not a huge amount. Let's have a look. This um, I bought this material the other day that goes across here. Um, I had the original piece, but I used it on something else because I wasn't going to use this method to attach the cowling. I've changed my mind now. I'm going to uh, attach the cowling in the conventional way uh, here at the firewall end on, on, onto the fuselage. Um, here's the, the original cowling that came with the aeroplane. Basically what I'm going to do is cut the lumpy bits out. Yeah, so attach this, uh, the back end of the cowl to the fuselage as per the drawings. Um, cut the, these lumpy bits out and then try and attach the front part of the uh, cowling to the back part of the cowling. So yeah, that's, uh, it's going to be a bit difficult but manageable. It's fiberglass. Uh, I haven't actually attached this horizontal piece yet. But once I do, it's, it's only attached with uh, two bolts on each side. <coughs> Pardon me. And um, uh, I'll then cut this, uh, this middle section out. It doesn't need to be there because that's where the air filter goes, remember? Um, the, uh, the wingtips are still not complete yet. They're... Um, they're reasonable, but they're not. I'm not totally happy yet. There's fiberglassing work to be done there. This root fairing has been a problem since day one, as you can see. Uh, I'll just have to cut and reshape that, and um, some more fiberglassing due there as well. So, the rest of the fuselage I don't think has been touched. Uh, the two upper wings. I don't know whether you've seen the latest videos. Um, of how I basically how I prepared this one um, uh, to to uh, to get the um, the fabric covering. This is because I didn't prime the parts as I went. I I that was a, a deliberate decision not to do that. Um, but I do have to prime where the fabric's going to go, like here on the leading edge, for instance. Uh, fuel tanks on the top of the ribs. Where are we there? Okay, so that's only the last few days that I did this wing. Uh, the other wing I've started, um, I've started covering uh, the bottom of the of this wing, and it's progressing quite well. I'm fairly happy with it. Um, I'm not going to point out what I'm doing to get to this stage because I'm going to cover that in uh, in subsequent videos. The um, uh, the 582 Renegade's out of action at the moment. I need to uh, do some work on the exhaust system. There's uh, exhaust pieces on the floor there. Um, they're a little bit puffed right now. Having it lay down and have a little rest. and um, But no big deal. It just requires a little bit of welding. So that's pretty much the update on these two projects, or this, this project and this aeroplane. Um, the RV6 has, um, has had its, uh, its annual uh, inspection, uh, which it actually passed with flying colours, in fact. Um, uh, oil pressure's good, the compression's good, uh, everything, everything's fantastic. Had three little problems. Uh, the uh, voltage regulator wasn't um, quite regulating very well. That's been, now been resolved. The GPS uh, 
it uh, malfunctioned, um, but it's uh, up and operational again now and happy. Um, the also the um, uh, the vacuum pump uh, drive uh, failed as well, so I've replaced that. The vacuum pump's vacuuming perfectly. The uh, GPS is GPSing, and the voltage regulator is regulating uh, exactly as it should. So all resolved there, and the aeroplane's uh, ready to go for another another twelve months. So that's the um, that's basically the update for for the whole of February. Um, it's pretty pretty straightforward. It's only a few minutes this one, and um, yeah, I'll get back on to uh, covering those two uh, upper wings on the other project, and so stand by for more videos on that. This is uh, this is the overflow hanger. I've got a few projects in here as well. But anyway, that's it. Um, thanks very much for watching. I'll catch you later.